Hey YouTube, I just wanted to highlight something because something snuck into serverless SQL pools, serverless pools, um, and I hadn't really noticed it. But it was the ability to create stored procedures, a bit of mini me. Um, and it is this documentation, and it does as provision pools, but also serverless pools. So I thought, well, I better check that out. So if I then go into my um, my workspace and then I put something in here let's do a refresh make sure it's updated I've got external tables resources view schemas security um, if I was looking at my provision pool I see this program ability um, and that's where my store procedures live so they're not in here yet and so the UI hasn't been updated but that doesn't mean we can't find them so if you go and log into Management Studio, you'll see this. I've just connected up to the same system um, and these are the same databases. And then when I click on Store Procedures, I've actually created a couple. And you know, they can be as simple as just returning some information and I haven't created some simple kind of like just return the version number so I can just execute that if I'd like I can just, I can do sort of more complex things where I'm doing queries passing parameters in running them here that all works can also going to copy that query and take that out we can see that runs um, we can take that over to our workspace uh, on London let's go with the new script Pop the same thing in here and I can execute it on there because this is just SQL interface it will just run whatever you know SQL I throw at it um, then you can also obviously do the same thing from Power BI or any tool you can execute store procedures so I thought that was pretty cool and something that um, I don't think we've been shouting about but is something that is um, uh, pretty cool um, so thanks for your time all right bye